Very often in solving word problems, it is necessary to solve for multiple equations and multiple unknowns. Ideally, you would have enough information to find an unknown x and just be able to write down x equals 6. But sometimes you're given enough information in the form of constraints, but about, about several unknowns, x, y, and z. And when you put all together, you might have several equations you can write down, but they have each of them the several unknowns, x, y, and z. And so one has to get really good at quickly solving for three equations and three unknowns, or two equations and two unknowns, and so on. So I wanted to practice that. Here are three random equations I wrote down for involving the three unknowns x, y, and z. And we can ask, can we solve for the values of x, y, and z separately? Well, the first two equations happen to have 3x in them. So if we were to subtract them, the 3x would nicely cancel. So I'll subtract those two equations. And we'll have a 5y from the first equation minus a minus 8y from the second equation. We'll have a minus 7z from the first equation minus z from the second equation. And on the right-hand side, we'll have 3 from the first equation minus 1 from the second equation. This simplifies a little bit to become 13y minus 8z. Notice that the minus of 8y of minus 8y is plus 8y, and so that adds to 5y to make 13. So we have 13y minus 8z equals 2. We haven't used equation 3 yet. That has y plus 4z is 7, and it has something that's close to 8z if we were to double equation number 3. So I'm going to do that. And that becomes 2y plus 8z equals 14. I basically took 2 and multiplied it on each of the terms. Then if you notice these two equations right here, they have an 8z in each of them, but they have different signs. So if we were to add those two equations, 13y minus 8z equals 2 to the previous equation, 2y plus 8z equals 14, the z's would cancel. And we would have 15y equals 16, or y equals 16 fifteenths. We now have a solution for one of the three unknowns. We can now plug that in somewhere else, wherever it would be convenient. And just looking right here, we had a 13y minus 8z equals 2. If we knew y, then we would know z. So I'll plug it in. y is 16 fifteenths. Uh, that's, that's a solvable equation for z. I'm going to multiply all sides by 15. And that becomes 13 times 16 minus 120 equals 30. 13 times 16 is uh, 208, and if we take that 208 and move it over to the right-hand side of the equation, we'll have minus 120z equals 30 minus 208. Or z, turns out on your calculator, will be 1.48. Now that we have y and we have z, we can go back to one of the other equations that have x in it and solve what is x, and we find x is 2.68. So this is a quick run-through of an example of how to solve three equations and three unknowns.